you how you do this hairstyle it looks very complex and difficult to some people but I assure you if I can do it you can do it and I have a lot of tips and tricks on how to keep this hairstyle for like a week it's not gonna look greasy it's not gonna look like a bird's nest uh, so keep watching this video if you want to know how to get this look okay, so what I usually do first is to brush through my hair haven't brushed it in a couple of days. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. That sound is so satisfying. Part my hair. This obviously depends on the thickness of your hair. I have like thin Scandinavian Nordic hair, but I do have a lot. I'm gonna divide it into three or four sections. Thermal Stress Protector by Away. 100% glass bottle, recyclable, organically grown ingredient. We love animals, it says, so I'm assuming it's vegan or at least cruelty free. And then we start. So, so this is the tool that I use. I will leave the link to it down below. It's this very thin curling iron and it's not round. It has this kind of square edges, uh, which I believe makes it, the curls more defined and more not like wavy and soft, but more And I usually start in the back, but let me just take one in the front here so you can see how I do it. It's no like science to it, it's just normal curling, but I usually tend to curl away from my face. Make sure it's tight. I kind of twist it to make sure I get all the way to the edge of my head, to the root. And I just leave it there for 10 to 12 seconds. And then and you have a curl. And they look pretty intense in the beginning. I will show you how to like style it after and how to keep it fresh for like a week. When you sleep with it, it looks like a bird's nest the day after because you've got a lot of like fly away, loose hair. And also it tends to like flatten with time. So I will show you both how to make it fluffy and also remove the flyaway hairs to not make it so fussy and frizzy. I have the timer on so I will let you know how long it takes me. It doesn't take too long and it better not today either because I have a bus to catch. So notice this one for example. In my opinion I did this too thick. From now on I will use like smaller sections. So what's cracking? What are you up to? I feel like every video I make I have kind of like a mission with each video. A message to share, something to talk about. So it's nice now to just sit and chat with you. So let me know how you're doing, what you're up to. Also something to think about is the angle of how you hold this. So the best way isn't to hold it straight like that or straight down, but like at an angle, like downwards. And also to make it as clean as possible, try to keep the sections divided so you don't get those in between flyaway hairs. Because then it gets more defined and kind of separated each curl, rather than like a big bush of them all tangled together. <laughs> Honestly, fixing your hair is like a workout session. Those arms are burning out. Usually I never burn on the curling iron, but now I've done it like five times during this video because I'm so distracted by the fact that I'm filming. <laughs> first layer or in between each layers I put some hairspray just to hold them there and make them set so right now using define extreme hold hairspray 100% vegan for a long-lasting result 24 hour extreme hold so you honestly just need to like lightly spray it nothing intense the heat protector spray which is important and obviously like prepping the hair how you dry it uh, what products you put 
after you have washed it and stuff makes also a big difference on how it's gonna turn out. Now I have nothing in it after I washed it, so it's probably gonna give a more flat look, especially after a couple of days. Oh my God, it's stuck. But usually when I'm curling it like this, I put in some kind of like mousse to give myself more volume and hold and stuff like that. But that heat protecting spray gives more structure and hold to the hair as well. So that helps to make the curls stay put and also give you a bit more structure to play with and not it just hanging straight down. Rock whatever you want, but if you want those fluffy, bouncy, like a big volume to the hair, then think about how you dry it, what products you put in it. So more like towards the face and the upper layers. I am more cautious about making the sections like more thin because I think that looks nicer from the front if you don't have these like big chunky uh, corkscrew curls but these small fun bouncy playful ones like this one. I tend to uh, part my hair down the middle because I usually wear my hair parted to the side and when I flick it over it gives it that nice volume. I have no blood left in my arms. <laughs> watch uh, a Cinderella story with Hilary Duff and one of the mean stepsisters. I honestly can't pronounce the difference here and here. Or <laughs> I actually think I just did it. What you do if you don't want to leave it like this. I also look like the woman in Elf, the receptionist. So what I'm gonna do now is run my fingers through them to divide them. So look at this for example, you can divide it in two, you can divide it one more time, and the more times you do it, the more bigger it's gonna get. So after a while, it's gonna like flatten down by itself because the curls are gonna attach together, uh, and then it's gonna look more flat. So what you do every time it gets more flat is to divide the curls like I'm doing now. You could brush through it with a brush, but then it gets very, very big and you don't really have defined curls anymore. This is usually very fun, but now I'm kind of stressed because I don't want to miss my bus to Oslo because it doesn't go that often, costs a lot of money, and I'm gonna watch Frozen with my niece, or Frozen 2, and the bus arrives just before the movie starts. My other tip I want to share with you is that after you sleep on it, it's got gonna become like a bird's nest. My tip is to take oil in your palms and kind of first go over over like the surface of the hair but don't use too much oil so it becomes like oily and greasy. I have lots in my bathroom, different brands, but this is one of them. Uh, Moroccan oil and then I could do that now as well. Just pump one, do that and just to Give it a bit of shine, not to make it look too dry and obviously nourish the hair because you have fried it. I like to have it over on this side, take the fringe down a bit, put this behind the ear so my head doesn't disappear completely within all the curls, but that you can kind of see my face as well. So yeah, what do you think? Obviously go over if you see any like straight hairs curl them. I don't have time to do that now, but I can't see anyone. That is my tutorial. If you liked it, it's very simple, very easy. Please send me a photo on Instagram if you follow this tutorial. I would love to see the result. 
Love you very much. Thank you for watching. Be kind. Bye. Yeah.